Hello, this is John N5ID. I wanted to make a new video on transmit audio settings for the Yaesu FT710. I've made quite a few videos with various microphones over the past couple of years, and I made an original video on transmit audio settings that was pretty popular and a lot of people tried to use those settings that I showed in the video and those settings are really not the greatest starting point uh, for setting up the hand mic or other mics it was just an example so what I want to do today is I want to make a new video on transmit audio settings to help you with a very good starting point for any microphone that you will set up and first of all I'm going to hit the function button and you can see the mic gain is 50% this will work for the hand mic the mic EQ is on the processor levels 20 the AMC levels 100 I never really change that you can play around with it uh, if um, if you're having a problem with splatter if you're running an amplifier you might want to set that in the 80 to 90 range to begin with let's go into radio settings mode SSB and you can hit the arrow button and go up and down go down till you get to TX BPF SEL this is your transmit bandwidth I leave mine on the widest setting 50 to 350 uh, 50 to 3050 Hertz I believe that sounds the best with this radio now we're going to back out of there and we're going to go to operation settings transmit audio I'm going to go all the way up to the top and um, let me explain the difference between the parametric equalizer and when you see the P space parametric equalizer if you don't have the processor turned on you use the settings that uh, start with parametric EQ when the processor is on you use the settings that start with P space parametric EQ and I normally set these the same uh, what I'm going to do is go down to where the P space parametric EQ begins and again these settings that I'm giving you today are a good starting point for any mic that you run and this is the settings that I use for my hand microphone the first one is P parametric EQ1 frequency. I set that at 300 hertz. And then the P parametric EQ1 level, I set at minus three to take just a little bit of bass out. And then the P parametric EQ1 bandwidth, I set at zero. Uh, let me explain how that works. This is the bandwidth that you want to affect from basically zero to let's say 700 hertz if i set that at 10 i'm pretty much only going to affect the 300 hertz bandwidth if i set it at five i'm going to affect a larger bandwidth if i set it at zero i'm going to affect the widest bandwidth so what i want to do on my low frequencies is i want to affect the widest bandwidth and i set that at zero now for the mid-range P parametric EQ2 frequency, I use 1300 hertz, and here I want to boost the mids. So on P parametric EQ2 level, I set that at eight to give me a boost on the mid-range, and then I set the P parametric EQ2 bandwidth to one. And finally, the P parametric EQ3 frequency, I set at 300 hertz, and I set the level at 10 because I really want to boost those highs and emphasize those highs, and I want to affect the widest bandwidth possible, so I set the P parametric EQ3 bandwidth to zero. A lot of people complain about how hard this radio is to set up. I don't think it's that hard to set up. That's pretty much all there is to it. Set up your transmit bandwidth. 
then set up your equalizer with the proper frequencies and levels. And again, the P in front of the parametric equalizer denotes that these are the settings when I'm using the processor. And the absence of the P is the settings for when the processor's off. I will say that I believe this radio really likes the processor. I never turn my processor off. Let me back out of that and show you the main settings again. This is for the hand mic. Mic gain 50, mic EQ on, processor level 20. AMC level 100, you'll get really good sound out of your radio with these settings. And you can tailor the, the settings to match up to your voice. But that's all there is to setting up the transmit on this radio. Uh, it shouldn't take three minutes to set it up and you'll have really, really good sounding audio with these settings. Uh, one other thing you need to know, uh, the hand mic is, is pretty sensitive. It has a higher sensitivity, so it uh, uh, doesn't require as much mic gain. Uh, normally, I run my ElectroVoice RE20, and the sensitivity on it is not as good. And when I run my RE20, I turn my mic gain up to 65 and I turn the processor up to 40 and I get a really good sound out of it. And I don't change the EQ settings. The EQ settings that I just showed you is what I run on the ElectroVoice RE20 and it sounds excellent. Again, that's all there is to setting this radio up on Transmit Audio. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me on my QRZ page if, uh, email address. If you leave a comment, I will try and answer that comment. have a lot of health issues and I'm kind of slow in getting back with people. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you and God bless.